بأي معادلة منطقة على مدار مرة شهر مارس يونت 9 ويونت 10. Let's start with unit 9. Choose the correct answer. Number one, the narrators or characters or setting or ending are the people or animals in the story. The answer here is characters. The people or animals in the story, we call them characters. Number two, the character or setting or narrator or moral is the time and place where a story happens. The time and the place of a story we call it setting. The answer here is setting. Number three, the character or moral or narrator or setting is the person who tells the story. The someone who tells us the events of the story we call him a narrator. The answer is narrator. Number four, the character or beginning or middle or ending is the last part of the story. We must not hear the last part, so it's the ending. Sentence number five, the moral or beginning or character or narrator is the lesson you learn from a story. The lesson we learn from a story, we call it a moral. Number six, Goha's stories are unimportant or useless or popular, or bad all over the world. These stories are well known all over the world. That means they are very popular. Number seven. Shahab worked alone and a, as a teacher or shepherd or doctor or pairs looking after a sheep. The one who looking after a sheep, we called him a shepherd. Now, let's revive the grammar of the unit. Choose the correct answer. Tamil and Al. Blay or blaze or blame or were blaying in the forest yesterday. The sentence here in the past continuous tense. And the subject here is Lular, Tamil and Ali. So, we will choose where playing. Number two. Yesterday evening, Marion. Doing or was doing or were doing or does her homework. We also hear in the past continuous tense. We want to tell about something that happened in particular time in the past. And the subject and the subject here is singular, Marion. So we will choose was plus verb plus I and G if a was doing. Number three, we play or playing or play it or were playing when we found a golden box. Here we have two actions, we have two sentences, and we link them with uh, when. The first action in happening must be in the past continuous tense. So we were playing, we were playing when the second action in happening in the past simple tense found here. Number four, I was running with, I was running when I fall or falls or fell or falling down. Also, we have two sentences. The first in action is bust continuous, I was running. So, I need the second action in happening must be bust simple tense. So, I fell down. Number five, Sarah was watching TV when her father come or comes or came or coming. Here we also have two actions and we link them with when. Sarah was watching TV when her father came. Bust simple tense. Number six, Osman was writing his message. What or when or where or who grandpa enter the room. When we want to link the two sentences in the past, we use when. Number seven. One day, they were swimming in the sea when Tom see or sees or saw or seeing a glass bottle in the water. Here, the second verb in the action must be in the past simple tense, so when Tom saw, because Tom a singular. Yesterday evening, 
बीच और वोस वोक वोक्स वोकिंग और वोक दिस डॉग डिस्टेंस इन द बास्ट पर बास्ट कंटिन्यूअस टेंस ऑफ बीच और वोस वोकिंग नंबर नाइन व्हाट वाज हैविंग और हैविंग और हैविंग और हैविंग्स यस्टरडे दिस क्वेश्चन इन द बास्ट कंटिन्यूअस टेंस सो आफ्टर वोस वी नीड वर्ब प्लस आईएनजी व्हाट वोस हैविंग Now we will move to revision on unit 10. Number one, choose the correct answer. Number one, a proverb or verb or plan or description is a well-known phrase about something which is generally true and has meaning a meaning other than its exact meaning. This is the definition of the proverb. Number two, successful or colorful or similar or sensible means a good idea that someone has carefully thought about. If you think carefully, you will notice this is the definition of the word sensible. Number three, real or similar or careful or successful means something with which happens and it's true. This is the definition of the word real. Number four, a person who tries hard not to make mistakes is called sensitive or similar or careful or real. Absolutely, we call this one is careful. Number five, when two things are unlike or different or similar or careful, they might look the same or do the same thing is when the, the two things is same or do the same thing is we call them similar we can describe them with similar number six birds make nets tents flats or nests to live in birds make nests to live in number seven birds always tear or bear or hatch or catch eggs, the bird is always hatch eggs. Now we will move to revision on the grammar of unit 10. You must or mustn't or can or may smoke in the hospital. It's not allowed. Here we talk about something is not allowed. We can't do this, so we will choose mustn't. You mustn't do this. Number two, we must or mustn't or can or are swim here because there might be our crocodiles. If there are crocodiles, that means you mustn't swim here. Number three, you must or mustn't or can or are respect nature. That's something we all must do, so we must respect nature. Number four, Salma must study, studying, study, or studied hard. We have must, that means we need infinitive, so we will choose a study. Salma must study hard. Number five, Mariam mustn't swim, swimming, swim, swam here, as there might be crocodiles. This is the same idea. Mustn't must be followed with infinitive. So we will choose the infinitive swim. Number six, Sara must or mustn't or can or is scared birds. This is something we mustn't do. Sara mustn't scare birds. Number seven, it is an important habitat and people mustn't, aren't, must, shouldn't protect it. If it is important habitat, that means people must protect it. Let's move to sentence number eight. You must or can or are or mustn't talk in the library. This something is not good. This is not allowed. That means you mustn't talk in the library. Number nine. If you study hard, you get, gets, will get, would get to the marks. Here we have the first conditional of F. And we use this conditional to take about something likely to happen in the future. If here followed with past, with present, sorry, with present symbol, study hard, you 
we need well plus infinitive you will get if you doesn't or don't or won't or didn't study hard you won't get to Marcus here if sentence must be present simple and here we we need it in the negative form so if you don't study hard you won't get to Marcus that's all we have today, thank you, and I wish you all the good luck.